Good evening, everyone. Uh, match 12 of the Cricket World Cup in group in the Cricket World Cup on Brian Lala Cricket has been played. Um, it's the group two match between Sri Lanka versus Holland at Lords. Yes, it's not been played at the Oval, but it's been played in North London. Um, this was on a green pitch that did a lot early on. And this is the outcome of the game between the two associate members. Well, it's, that looks pretty straightforward, but let's um, do this the statistics throughout the game. Um, Sri Lanka won the toss, let the bowl first on a green pitch. Their fast bowling was irresistible. I mean, look at that. Holland got off to a dreadful start. 11 0 0 4 15 31 5 47 41 1 The low-order Tau Enders actually recovered well. They were 73 for 7 at one stage, and they actually batted out the full 50 overs. Out of the final ball of the innings for 180. Their final three wickets added 107 runs. But Holland's batting in this World Cup is nothing short of embarrassing. And they're definitely the weakest team in the competition, I'd say, so far. The bowling figures were absolutely outstanding, especially from the fast bowlers. Um, 14 for 1 for Aruna Rashinga. 3 for 45 for... Tony Opafa. Tony Opafa and Mevin Pendes. 20, they took three wickets for 23 earlier. Just need to go back to see what the situation is. They took four wickets in the first 10 overs and only went for 23 runs in what was... In, well, actually, no, sorry. They took three wickets for 23 runs. Remember, um, Tony Opafa and Mevin Pendes were the ones which squeezed Zimbabwe and squeezed Rhodesia for the first 10 in the first 10 overs of the last match they played. Look at those figures again. Tony Opafa, 3 for 45, and 2 for 32 for Menvin Perez. Superb figures and backed up by 2 for 31 from the other fast bowler, Vendura Wurrapula. Absolutely sensational performance from the fast bowlers. 42 for 1 for Somachanda De Silva. He was one that took a week of the final ball once again. Showing Arunda Tekun's faith in him. And he didn't be only bowled five overs. But 15 for one for the third spinner. Lakif Kulupua Kumapua for Sri Lanka. Um, in response, it was a breathtaking response. I mean, 77 and 74 for the informed batsman of Ranjit Fernando. 74 and 77 off. And 77 for... Sunil Wetwemi. Sunil Wetwemi is the leading run scorer of 254 runs in three innings in this World Cup so far. Um, he's got two 50s and 100, so he scored a 50 in every inning. So there was 19 not out for... For Brendula Wadapula, he hit the winning runs towards the end. 15 for Dulik Mendis and a duck for the captain, Aruna Takun and... Star batsman didn't even get a run. Star batsman um, Michael Tezera didn't even get a run and didn't even face a ball. 185 before, but look at that, the amount of overs they did that. They won in 23.3 overs. They were 151 for naught from 15 overs at one stage. And both Ranjit Fernando and Sunil Wetwemi, who put on a world record opening stand of 260 in their last match against Rhodesia, Put on 151 in just 15 overs. 77 off just 36 deliveries for Sunil Wetwemi. And 74 of just 45 deliveries for Ranjit Fernando. They were both on course to hit the fastest 100 ever in one day, interna in one day international hit cricket history. But they both fell short. Um, remember, after scoring 260 from about, I think it was about 38.3 overs before they got separated. They then lost something like... Five wickets for 55 runs towards the back end of the innings against Rhodesia. I mean, look at that again. A little collapse again. Four wickets fell for 24 runs as they sort of stumbled over the finishing line. But it was another emphatic win for Sri Lanka. The match summary. Holland all out for 180 in 50 overs precisely. Sri Lanka chased runs down. 185 for Sri Lanka win by six wickets. Winning in 23.3 overs. Man of match with breathless 77 of 36 deliveries. Sunil Wetwemi is the leading run score with 254 runs in three innings. In three matches even.
in three innings slash three matches. Utterly sensational. Who would have thought that he would be top of the leading run scorers as at this stage of the competition? Leading the way for an associate member as well. Utterly sensational. Um, this is what it does. Sri Lanka second in the group. Two wins out of two. Two wins out of two so far. Two wins out of three. Um, one foot maybe in the quarterfinals. Four points is suggested that will be enough to qualify for the quarters. And they've certainly done well. 12 match promises to be a cracking match. Pakistan against New Zealand. Pakistan not going to bounce back after their defeat against the West. After their absolute agonising defeat against the West Indies. New Zealand haven't played for nearly, I think it's 11 days since they thrashed Kenya by 181 runs. It'll be only their second match of the competition. So they'll be a little bit fresh. But will the fact that they haven't played for 11 days be crucial in tomorrow's match? It promises to be an absolute cracker. Between these two sides, New Zealand are looking good form and Pakistan have played well in both their games. They should have beaten the West Indies famously, but obviously they lost that match. Um, let's have a look at the Sri Lankan star players. You ain't going to see too much, I don't think, in terms of things. Um, Chamar, Shuma Chama, Jasilva got one more wicket. Um, averaging 30 still, so his average has not gone up or down. Um, his average has not gone up or down, Michael Tazera. Um, he's got one not out, but averaging 61, um, 61 runs, an average of 30. As for Tremara De Silva, he's now got four wickets and three matches at an average of 38. It's quite a high average, if we're being honest with you. Um, so, um, but obviously, he's bowling towards the tail enders. He's bowling towards the tail enders, almost, to be honest with you. And he's coming on and just being given... A bit of a bowl. It's the main bowlers. There's Tony Opafa and Menvin Pires, who are the star bowlers at the moment for Sri Lanka. Um, they look absolutely sensational. Um, yeah, Sri Lanka have got India in their next match. India, as you know, have been pretty awful in this tournament and don't look a good side. So Sri Lanka have a great opportunity to create the first major shock of the tournament. I feel they will be favourites in that match, despite being an associate member. They're not playing as an associate member. We've said... Time and time before the tournament, Sri Lanka are the best associate member out of the six that I've taken part in this tournament. Um, and they look the real deal. And for Sunil Wetwemi to score 254 rounds in three innings and be the leading run score for an associate batsman, you've got to get your hat off. You've got a 50 against Australia. You've got 121 against Rhodesia. I know they're playing against um, other associate members, but you can only score the runs in front of you. You can only take the bowlers on as you see fit. Their final match is India and England, so they're in a good position to reach for quarters. Time match, Pakistan against New Zealand. Um, promised to be a really close match. New Zealand haven't played for 11 days, as I said, so will they be a little bit stiff? Or And Pakistan, will they recover from that epic, wonderful match at the Oval against the West Indies? So... Until then, I'll give you a match report of Pakistan and New Zealand later on. And until then, this is Lawrence Howard um, doing match reports for the 1975 Cricket World Cup on Brian Lava Cricket. Until then, bye-bye everyone.